Welcome back to theme. Some big news for today. Got some nice two geotechnical permits or permits that have been posted. And I did some combing through them uh, for the last couple days. And I posted some some stuff on Twitter. If you follow me, you can check that out. You've probably have seen them. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, links are below in the description. But the um, permits for or plans for the potential studio tour walking path that we're talking about that's rumored and the definite station loading area and queue formations for Fast and Furious have dropped. So let's go ahead and break those down right now. I'm going to start with the studio tour walking path because that's just one one plan or one piece of paper. And then we'll do a deep dive analysis of the uh, Fast stuff. So let's get right into it. So as you can see, permits show here a nice new road that is kind of cuts behind the Psycho House and behind the World of the World set and goes um yeah behind that and kind of cuts through that area now the co tour has been rumored to get some 60th anniversary upgrades for a while now and now um now actually just kidding this is this is the current tram path but they're going to build a new one um that goes uh around through this area now the studio tool has been upgraded, uh, rumored to get some upgrade, upgrades for a while now. And this could be the first concrete plans of that. I've heard some conflicting reports saying this could, this would be the hop on hop off path. Also that this could be the, um, just a, a side road for trucks, some for delivery trucks to go, go behind the sets to not, um, disrupt the tram now, but I've heard that still, even if this is not the path or not, that the studio tour will be getting a hop on, hop off section. So I'll be waiting for that. But this also includes the refurbishment of three facades here in the world of the world set. So no matter what's happening, if this is a public path for us or not, we'll be getting some nice new facades as part of those upgrades that are currently going on the studio tour. If you take the studio tour next time, one of these updates, I'll take the studio tour because it's that Bates Motel is getting updated. The Psycho House is going to get some updates and there's Am Amityville getting some updates, so all the sets are getting some major updates. So I'll be definitely checking those out and filming those. But yeah, I just want to point it out here in this quick video, just in this video, because I wanted to just uh, yeah, be aware, be aware. There's some grading happening, and this could be for, that is for this road. Some grading is happening by the Sega House, and yeah, that is for this new road coming. But we'll be staying, uh, st staying tuned for that because any upgrade should debut, be complete in the summertime but now let's go check out the fast and furious news now let's take a deep dive into these brand new permits showing the q layout for fast and furious so building 4422 that is the fast and furious hollow drift station building the some of these other permits show the track and stuff but we went over the track even this permit shows a little bit of the track but the, we're gonna really focus on the q area here because we know the layout already and maybe we'll do a video on some of those 3d track elements but i, I really want universal sort of at least a POV or something, so you can see it in person. But the station building is huge. It's huge, but also compact because, you know, that area takes up two theaters, but it's still not a big area. But look at that Q space. The Q space is very, very large. It's also compact, but it, with so many switch packs, it can actually hold quite a bit of people. And I'm going to try to showcase the, the, the route for this queue um, right now. It'd be a little bit harder because I'm not sure myself, but I tried to showcase this or do this in my head yesterday, and I think I pretty much got where it goes. Uh, the entrance to this attraction will be by the or the area that says Springfield Marquee. That is, um, that, that's kind of basically where you enter the special effects stage. It will be the entrance to this ride queue. They can make an immediate right. If you follow the line, it makes an immediate, immediate right, kind of snakes around, and then kind of immediately goes outdoors into the extended queue. The extended queue is behind Luigi's Pizza, where that kind of, kind of just that oh, kind of over the area, really the exit to the special effects show, that bridge there where people would exit, that's where some of that, not all of it, but some of that extended queue is going to be, and that is in this particular area, and that has plenty, plenty of switchbacks on its own. Then, you'll re-enter the station queue, go uh, go down a few more switchbacks around and around. You'll eventually go through a locker area, which will show in another permit. Then you'll go upstairs to the loading or upstairs through another few more switchbacks and then eventually to the loading area. That loading area is that gray section, by the way. It's that gray kind of rectangular section. 
um, that is the loading area for this attraction. And it'll be a double loading area, dual loading section. You'll load in the middle platform or come down from the middle platform, come up the stairs to the middle platform and load on either side. Each car will have uh, you know, 16 passengers, two trains will be on track at a time, and then two trains probably in the station. Here's kind of a more detailed look of what I, I, we just went over. Just more more opaque looks, drawing some of the interiors of the rooms, what they look like and what the uh, how big the rooms will be. And even showing some of the proposed plants and greenery on, greenery on the outside sections of this area as well. Besides Q, this station building will hold some new bathrooms because remember the animal, animal actors had some bathrooms associated with it. So I'm glad they're replacing those. Looks like these bathrooms might be slightly smaller. They have about eight women's stalls and then three stalls for the men and four urinals for the men. And about five, five, to, five to ten sinks for each, um, each gender there. There will be an all gender restroom up above, not in this area, but it will be towards the lockers as well. You'll see there will be a retail area to replace the production central area. Kind of like an exit through the gift shop type of ordeal there. Not sure this will be just a general retail area or be themed with a whole bunch of Fast and Furious merchandise. Probably the latter. But also, remember, it's in Production Plaza, technically the land. And this area did replace Production Central. So it could be a mix of both Fast and Furious stuff and just generic Universal stuff. Here is a very interesting part. That will be, um, it is part of the queue. And this is where the queue comes into contact with lockers. See, there's a couple of escalator, or sorry, stairs. You see the up sections, and they'll have the merge lockers, which are the double-sided lockers they have at the Velocicoaster in Orlando. Not sure if these will be the, uh, like, uh, one, the exact ones they have in Orlando, like the the small slim ones, or if these will be like square boxes, but also double-sided lockers as well. We'll have to see because um, very curious about that. There'll also be metal detection, like in. A veloc coaster. You see the metal detection, so you will be going through a metal detector. You cannot bring anything really on you to this coaster, and that's what that metal detection is for. There's a single rider area. Um, there's a be of course an express line, a single rider line. A single rider has their own lockers, which is nice because that Harry Potter Forbidden Journey, uh, they don't. Everyone has the same locker room, but this one, this ride is being built with an own single lo a single rider locker area, which is fantastic, and has child switch as well all kind of on this this bottom floor and then sing, single riders will take the elevator up to the platform and then everyone else will go up the stairs and there's that all gender bathroom i was talking about as well so yeah those are all the permits well there's a lot more but those are the most interesting permits that came out of the documents of the geotechnical permit so what do you guys think about the queue? Are you surprised at how dense and some compact it is? Are you excited about the double lock, the double sided lockers coming out here from Orlando and the first uh, semblance of metal detectors um, coming here from Orlando? It's definitely a first on the West Coast. So I'll be a learning curve, but I'm sure many will get used to it, especially if you guys have been to Orlando, then you know what's going on there. But yeah, super exciting. You cannot wait for this coaster to open later on this year or, or sorry soft open early on potentially later on this year or certainly open next year they got a lot of work ahead of them they're working fast now but they have to pile drill a whole bunch of supports way down into the ground that's what this uh foundation report was about part of it so it's, it's gonna be quite be very fun to watch but they have wow that's incredible uh maybe i'll do a video or an article on how how deep they have to dig and you know show you that graphic because it's quite amazing but if you guys um, like this video, press that thumbs up button, subscribe for more theme park updates, and follow me on my social media and Patreon and Discord. I'll be on Patreon. I'll be doing art, posting lots of permits from all different theme parks that have stuff from Legoland, um, Disneyland, all that cool stuff, and even stuff from Universal. So definitely check out the Patreon for that. But as always, everyone have a family, family, family day. <laughs>